Hi everyone. Today, I show you how to use Wick on phone. I hope you remember that I already made a video on how to use Wick on PC, you can check it out if you want, the link will be in the description. The first step that I always mention, make sure to add the bot. And, if you don't have Wick bot, just invite it. You can either get that on its website or just join my server. Now, use this command. It will be in the description. So, when you use that command, the bot will create a quarantine role. Make sure the WIC bot is above all the roles with admin perm and quarantine role should be right below WIC. If you don't know what quarantine role is, it's just a mute role. Make sure you create these two log channels. One is for normal logs and another is for mod logs. Now that all is done. Come to WIC dashboard, log in and click your server, it will take you to this page. This is kinda useless, so, there's no need to do anything here. Here you will find the bot complaining about why you gave admin to this and that person and all that blah blah, so just ignore it. Here, you will find overview of everything that the bot offers for free such as auto mod, anti-nuke and all that. I hope you get that. I never used anything in miscellaneous, but it seems like here you can change the command. But I recommend you don't mess around with that. And if your settings are different then just copy mine. This command is mostly for staff members and those who you want to give immunity from Wikbot. First, start by making this group thingy. I think this is very self-explanatory. Just add the roles but from my understanding, this is for staff members, so add staff role. You can pretty much read the description below every feature, so you can enable whatever you like. In moderation, it's like who can use Wix mod features, so add staff role there. I don't know what lockdown is and what it does since I never used it, but if you know you use it. I will just skip. We will move on to the next step. This is the reason why I asked you to create two log channels. You can add those here so things will stay systematic. I think what this feature does is impose a lockdown, where members can't use channel to send messages and new members can't join. So it just locks the servers. People would normally use this feature when their server gets raided. I never used it so I can't tell. So, when you ban, kick or time out someone, they can write an appeal to you. And then you can decide to remove their punishment or not. I think it's a pretty cool feature where you can give a chance to them. You can also blacklist people from appealing. Now, let's move on to the next one. This is called Auto Mod. I have already shown this before. If your settings are different from mine, make sure to copy it. I won't go too much in detail since all you have to do is enable the features that you want. There are also different type of auto mod, like for spam and let's say, mentioning and tagging and pinging. You can enable whatever you like, every server is different so their needs are also different.
this heat thingy might be different. Just know that 100% heat thing is like if a person breaks the rule, for example, just spammed one time, they will get whatever punishment that you set here. Speaking of which, you can also set whatever punishment you want. I highly recommend to set different punishment for every filter here. This is tagging mod. Like, if you tag someone aka mention someone, it will trigger the bot. It's also for tagging roles, everyone in here. See, my only argument here is, why didn't they keep separate punishment for different filters just like we saw last time? I mean that's kinda weird. But I highly recommend you enable it. I am not sure if I find this feature useful, to be honest. It's media feature, like, it will be triggered if someone sends a photo. I mean if you don't want a certain member or role not to send photos then don't give perm to them in channel settings. Enable this feature. This is super useful. Enable all the link features over here because I don't know how the bot detects malicious links, but you know what? Just enable it. Here, make sure only the first option is enabled and toggle off the rest of the options because it punishes members for no reason. So just enable the first one and then write the list of you block words. Okay, so if you are super new and don't know what wildcard is. Let's say if you wildcard the word berry and if someone uses the word strawberry or any one word with the word berry in it, the bot would still detect that and punish the members. There's no need to use this feature unless someone in your server is using a link constantly and annoying you. Now let's do whitelist. If you don't know what whitelist is, it's like immunity list. You can add your friends and staff and keep them safe from Wikbot's moderation. I will show you how to do that. There are different sections and you can make them immune separately. I won't say anything since it's pretty much self-explanatory. I forgot to mention that you can also immune a channel or a category. Now, let's set up anti-nuke. If you don't know what that is, it's like, a hacker or a staff member deletes all the channels, roles, and everything from your server and even bans or kicks everyone out leaving nothing, that's just nuking a server. This usually happens when server owner or higher staff member gets hacker or if the owner doesn't recruit staff properly, so later the staff just go crazy and deletes everything. This is highly recommended to new servers. You can enable kick and ban here and keep a limit, like staff can't kick or ban more than certain amount of members. You can enable whatever you want since every server needs are different.
I have made a ton of videos on this already. So to keep it short, you can control who can join your server, so you can enable various things like, person with no profile photo is not allowed or let's say someone who has suspicious account can't join. I won't go too much in detail about account age. Here you can set a particular account age and the punishment, and if someone joins up with younger account age, then they will be punished. You can also punish members with NSFW usernames, just add the words here. I never used Wix verification before, but I think it has to do with CAPTCHA. You can use it if you want, but I have a made a better version of that in a video, link will be in the description. So yup, that's it, hope you guys love this tutorial. Anyway, if you want decors or layouts or want a place to hang out, just join the server. If you liked the video, hit like and subscribe button.